Hey folks, welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to share a short somatic centering practice with you to help you arrive back in your body if you're feeling uh, a little bit disconnected from your body, maybe you are up in your mind, going through stories, ruminating, overthinking. And somatic centering can help us to come back to our centre. It's a very grounding practice. If it feels safe enough for you, it can feel very calming, uh, calming for your nervous system. And you can explore what works for you. So these are just a few suggestions, but really you can, you can try your own things and see what helps me to reconnect with my centre. And this particular practice is physical. So a physical centre, like your spine, the midline of your body. And so we'll be exploring the right and left sides of the body and then coming back into centre. But there are a few different ways that you can do it, but this is what we're gonna do today. So I'm gonna be seated, but you can do this standing and you can also do it lying down. So this is really my invitation to you to wherever you are, you can do this. And however you feel like you need to be, if you need to get up and walk around, if you've got quite a lot of energy, um, maybe you're feeling anxious, maybe you're feeling um, excited, very similar feelings, then maybe being up is gonna help you today. Maybe you need to come down a little bit. Maybe you need to rest and slow down. And that's kind of where I am today. I need the support of the chair. And so I'm going to sit back in my big chair and my feet aren't touching the ground. So, but I know that my pelvis feels really stable right now. So wherever you are, you want to make sure that part of your body maybe connects to either the floor, a chair, a bed, sofa, wherever you are, you've got something underneath you for support. Now at any point you can sit up and you can move your body in a way where you're not restricted. So taking a moment to arrive and I'm going to give my legs a little bounce here, shake out my legs, and you can do this with your fingers, your arms. And maybe taking a few deep sighing breaths in through the nose, filling up the belly. And letting it out through the mouth. Giving my hips a little wiggle so I can really sense the support of the chair underneath me. Your eyes can be open or closed throughout this practice. And let's take a moment to arrive in our space. So maybe looking around, acknowledging where you are. <sighs> Try not to fixate on anything for too long. Acknowledge that you're taking this time to practice, to be with yourself, to check in. And then start to bring your awareness back to your body and notice the support of the floor or the chair beneath you. Can you invite your body to rest a little more into that support, even if you're standing, maybe there's a soft bend in the knees, a real softness through the legs. Even though they're keeping you up, the muscles are engaging. We're not standing really rigid or tall. We're letting the arms feel heavy. And then starting to bring your awareness over to your right hand. And you might notice that your hand starts to move. As soon as you think about your right hand, does it start to move? And you can invite in a gentle wiggle of the fingers and maybe even looking at your hand, 
So as you're looking at your hand and you're inviting in this movement, what sensations can you feel? Let your breath flow as it, as it needs to. And let's see how it would feel to spread the fingers wide from the center of the palm all the way through to the fingertips. And then curling the fingers up. And can you feel your fingertips pressing into the palm? Make a fist. And let's breathe in as we open the fingers. This is optional. You don't have to sync breath and movement. Breathing out as you close. You can just take a natural approach to the breath. Notice if your right side is starting to get involved. Now my right side is... Um, my left side, sorry, I am mirroring you. So my other side is starting to get involved because I'm talking at the same time. But so let's see if we can allow the opposite side, the left side to really relax. It doesn't need to get involved here. We're just sensing into the right side. Let's start to send that movement up through the arm. How could we turn into the wrist? and move into the elbow and then move into the shoulder. And I quite like to imagine that I'm holding a doorknob and I do this with my clients um, when there's tension around the, the neck and shoulders and stiffness in the shoulders because it's a really nice way of loosening up through the shoulder and becoming aware of am I moving through the shoulder joint or am I moving just the hand or the forearm. So we can be really curious here about what's happening. There's no, um, there's no right or wrong. So don't worry if you're not sure whether you're doing it right. I, I can assure you that you, you probably are. Because all we are doing is starting to sense into the right side of our body. Maybe noticing if there's any areas of tension and think just tensed in my neck there. There is something, you know, there's something going on in my neck on the right hand side at the moment that I've been feeling for a, a few days. So I can just roll my shoulder here and see if that eases it. And being aware, is the left side relaxing or is it? Is it tensing? Is it moving as well? Does it want to get involved? Now this practice is quite um, good to do lying down because you can, or sitting, because you can really let that other side relax as much as possible. Now reaching the arm up and over, finding a little bit more length down this right side waist. And make sure that you're breathing. And as we're reaching up overhead, can we become aware of our fingers and our toes at the same time? And let's start to wiggle into the fingers and the toes at the same time. Rolling into the wrist, the ankle. So if you're standing, you might be balancing on one leg. You can always hold on to some furniture or a wall or you can practice your balancing here. The right side will be, um, sorry, the left side will be engaging a bit more to hold you up. But yeah, we can, yeah, we can notice that. And then moving into the right leg. Now you can always keep the arm up and explore the full length. Or maybe at this point we rest the arm down and we just take a little bit of time to sense into the right leg into the hip joint. Now, if you're lying down, you can place the foot to the floor, bend the knee, turn the knee in and out. So we're moving into the hip. You could take some circular movements, but working with where you are, what you what you've got available to you today. And how does this right side feel? There might be some little clicks or pops or maybe there's some clunks. Being really curious about your body on the right hand side. And when you're moving, does it 
does your breath change? Do you hold your breath? Can you allow it to flow? Last couple of movements on this right hand side, full body, not full body, full right hand side of the body. Depending on what space you've got and what movement you've got in you today, you can uh, take the leg and the arm wherever they want to go, exploring the range of movement through the hip, the shoulder and how that feels. Just on the right hand side. And let's start to bring that right hand side back to stillness. Let it feel really heavy. And maybe you close your eyes here or soften your gaze. As you take a moment to notice, how does the right side feel compared to the left? And again, we're being curious. And it might be that there aren't very many sensations at all. There might be a really subtle or numbness, a subtle sensation or, an, or a numbness where there isn't much going on. Just seeing, is there any small sensation on my right side feels lighter? A little bit freer, a little bit more fluid. And then we can go over into the left hand side, starting with the fingers, taking it at your own pace. Noticing what's going on in the left hand as we spread the fingers, maybe we breathe in and we sense from the palm to the fingertips and breathing out to curl the fingers in. How do the fingertips feel in the palm here when you make a fist? Breathing in to open. Breathing out to close. I've got some clicking going on in this side. So easing it out, rolling it out nice and gently. And the right side now can relax as much as possible. Obviously, if you're standing, it'd be slightly different sensation. And we can start to move into the left arm, the elbow, the shoulder. Again, there's no right or wrong way to move. What are all the different ways that you could move your arm? And of course, working with where you are today, with where your body's at today. I'm gonna to take hold of that doorknob and take a few of these rolling through. And you can explore what I said on the, on the first side was, okay, so how would it feel to move from the shoulder joint and turn the doorknob? How would it feel to move from the wrist and how would it feel to move from the forearm? Something clicking in the top, in the shoulder. And you might notice that there's some tension and maybe there's tension in the upper back and into the neck. Reaching your left arm overhead, spread the fingers, wiggle the fingers and then bring some awareness into the left toes, point the toes or spread the toes, reach through fingers and toes. And then start to move fingers, toes, ankle, wrist. How does it feel to move the extremities of your body at the same time? Do they go in the same direction? Do they do their own thing? Can you make them do their own thing? Oof, that's quite difficult. Yeah, it's like rubbing your stomach and patting your head. 
So let's bring a little bit more movement into this left side, into the knee, into the hip. Maybe exploring the same movements that you did on the first side, but again, being mindful of anything that you've got going on that needs supporting or something different. Last couple of movements into this left side, check in with the breath. Does the breath feel different on this side? Do you hold your breath when you're trying to do this? And let's start to bring that left side back into stillness. And take a moment to pause. Always checking in. Noticing, okay, so how does that left side feel now? Does it feel equal and balanced with the right side? Does it feel slightly different? Does it feel lighter, heavier? Has it kind of acknowledged something like a pain or a tense spot? And then let's start to bring the hands together in the center. Now let's press our palms together. We don't need to bring the hands really close to the chest. Just bringing the hands up and pressing right and left hand together, pressing into all of the fingertips. Now press the palms and the heels of the hands together and lift the elbow slightly. How does that feel? What can you sense across the chest and in the forearms and in the upper back? You can always sit up to do this. Breathe. And then releasing the elbows down, releasing the palms. Bringing the palms back together, press into the fingers, press the hands together. A little bit more energy there through the center. And then releasing. Let's try that one more time. Noticing what you can feel in the right and left side of the body as you do this. Does it feel like you're pressing evenly through both hands? Does one side feel stronger than the other? Maybe you can feel a chest muscle on one side more than the other. Or again, maybe they're both equal. Maybe the upper back is starting to feel something. The centre of the back, the centre of the chest. Let's release the palms. Give both hands a little wiggle and shake. Then if it feels comfortable, bringing one hand to your heart and one hand to your stomach. If that doesn't feel safe, uh, you can always bring both hands to your heart or resting your hands on your thighs. And seeing if you can sense the center of your body. Can you sense both sides, the right and left side, pressing into the surface beneath you? Can you allow the right side to feel heavy and relaxed and the left side to feel heavy and relaxed? And then becoming aware of the centre of your body. And where does your attention go to when you think of the centre of your body? Maybe it's that uh, quite physical, you know, hand to heart, hand to stomach. There's a real sense of centre here. Maybe it's your spine. 
Maybe it's your heart, your nose, your belly button. Noticing how your centre feels, any sensations. Again, there's no right or wrong. Some sensations might be quite obvious or they might be quite subtle. Letting your breath flow. Again, eyes can be open or closed. And let's take five more breaths here. Observing what we can feel through the centre of our body. Maybe there's equal pressure through right and left sides. Maybe one side is heavier than the other. And how does that feel then through the centre? And if you're lying down or sitting on a chair, maybe you can feel the back of the head, the centre of the head. Maybe you can feel between the shoulder blades, the middle back, the low back, the centre of the pelvis. Observing how you are as you check in with your centre. here, what movement would feel welcome in your body? To connect right and left sides together with the centre, your whole body. What could you do here? You could wrap your arms around yourself, right arm scooping over the left or left over the right, bringing your hands to your shoulders, and giving yourself a hug, a little squeeze right into the centre of the chest. Or maybe you curl up into a little ball if that feels good and squeeze into the centre. You could do some tapping of the heart and the belly. You could do a full body move and stretch just like we did with the right and left sides of the body. Coming back into your space, opening your eyes if they were closed. And once again, observing how you are. How are you after that practice? Has anything shifted? Does anything feel the same? And we don't need to judge. We don't need to overanalyze it. Was there anything from that practice that you can take away with you? Anything that you really enjoyed or that felt really safe or pleasant for you? And was there anything from that that didn't feel so good that you might need to just make a note of that? that no, I'm not going to do that again. There was something in there that just didn't feel quite right for me. Take a breath in through the nose, into the belly, sigh out through the mouth. And we can get on with our day. Thank you so much for joining me. If you do this practice on your own, you can do it a lot quicker than what we've done today. We have, we did spend a little bit longer on it than I wanted to but you can do this practice wherever you are so if you are out shopping if you are in a queue if you are at work sat at your desk and you're feeling like a floating head on a uh, with a you know disconnected from your body you can be at your uh, in your space sensing into the right side sensing into the left side sensing into the center without anybody knowing or with them knowing because who cares Take care everyone, thanks for being here and 
drop a comment if you really enjoyed it. Thank you, bye!